Is it worth your money? Does it work well? And is there anything that separates it from the competition? Let's find out. The Norio Spotlight Cam Battery Pro have a field of view of 140 degrees with a 2K video resolution of 2560 x 1440. You get two-way audio with a speaker and a built-in mic. There is color night vision and also two LED lights on the front. The operating temperatures are minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. On board, there is only support for 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi networks, no 5 GHz supported. Norio is also claiming up to 180 days of battery life, but this depends on how often the camera detects motion. Speaking about motion detection, this camera have advanced AI motion detection, which this only detects person, there are no package, vehicle or pet AI detection supported at this time, though I suppose it can be fixed through a firmware update. On board you get 16 gig of RAM, there are no expansion storage, however you can subscribe to Norio cloud services. This camera does double as both a outdoor and indoor wireless security camera, so it is IP66 water resistant. Here's what's included in the box. You get a mountain bracket, a magnetic mountain bracket, a USB Type-C charging cable, two pack of mountain screws, a 3M sticky that can be used instead of the mountain screws, a quick start guide, warning sticker which can be placed in your window or just about anywhere you like, and two position stickers. Now this camera is very interesting. It's basically a tennis ball, right? It's, it's just a circle. But I must say, it's solid feeling, it doesn't feel cheap at all, it does feel very premium built. If we flip around to the front, we'll find the spotlight, the microphone, the light sensor, as well as the motion sensor, the speakers, the status LED light, and of course, the camera lens. Rotating around to the back, we have the charging point, which this thing is very difficult to open. I had to use a fork in order to help me open this thing, a fork. Next we have the sync button right next to the charging point and this button is very difficult to press. And then we have the mountain hole. Head over to your local app store, whether that's Android or iOS, download and then set up the Norio app. Do these two things before device setup. One, turn off cellular data, temporarily of course, you'll turn this back on once setup is completed. And two, ensure that your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi network that you would like your camera to join. Also, make sure you have your Wi-Fi password handy, because you will need this later on in the setup process. Once that's all completed, open up the Norio app, go to set up a device, scan the QR code on your camera, and just follow the on-screen's instructions. Let's check out the UI and do some testing. Once you've opened up the app, you'll be greeted by the main page, and this is where all your cameras will show up if you have multiple cameras. At the top, you have four different modes, home, away, sleep, and disarmed. On the bottom, you have devices, which is the screen we're on right now. If you had more than one, it will be showing up here. Then you have events, which show all the recorded events from all your cameras. And lastly, you have security. Here you have the name of the device, the Wi-Fi signal strength, the battery strength, and if you hit the gear icon, you will pull up the camera settings. Tap on the thumbnail to go live. Once your live view is up, you can record a video or take a photo of your live view. You can also utilize the mic to speak. Go to events to review events. Toggle the speaker button on to hear what's going on around the camera. Activate the siren. And turn the LED lights on. Go ahead and toggle to the gear icon on the top right corner. This will pull up the settings for the camera. For best performance, turn motion sensitivity all the way up. And to utilize the AI function, make sure you toggle on person detection. That way your camera will differentiate between person and other events. 
Let's go to power management. Here you have three different options, battery savings, optimize, and customized. Let's go to customized. Now you have two different slider bars. You want to make sure you turn this one, which is video recording length all the way up. That way you will record as much motion, as much of the motion as possible. And then re-trigger interval, you want to make sure you turn that all the way down. Five seconds is the minimum. You want to keep it there. If not, you will have to wait up to 60 seconds before your camera start recording again. You definitely don't want that. So turn this up and turn this down. Under video settings, you have the option to turn HDR on or off here. You have different video modes. You have the option to turn the watermark on or off. You can also rotate the camera 180 degrees right here. Go to storage to see how much space you have left on your camera. Don't forget this only have 16 gigs of internal memory and the only other option is to go with their cloud services. No expandable storage through micro SD cards here. Notifications if you'd like to customize if or when you receive notifications and you can toggle this button off to just completely turn the camera off. Let's take a look at downloading and reviewing your recorded events. Once you get back to your main page, you can go ahead and navigate to events. From here, you can scroll to any events that you would like to review. You have your play pause button right here, your forward and backward slider, save to photo album, download, save as favorite, and delete. For installation, you will need a star point screwdriver. You also may need a drill and a drill bit. Pre-drill two holes, then separate the bottom of the mounting bracket and attach it to the wall or the ceiling. Then attach your camera and just set it to the desired position. For Alexa integration, just open up the Alexa app. Once that's open, go to more at the bottom right and then go to skills and games. Search for the Norio app or the Norio skill. Once it comes up, you click on it and then it will ask for you to link accounts. Just follow the instructions and that's all you have to do. Five feet, ten, fifteen, twenty. This is a video clarity test of the Norio Spotlight Cam Battery Pro. At five feet, ten, fifteen. This is a clip of me unboxing a Christmas sign without Wi-Fi signal. So this camera does work even if you've lost Wi-Fi connection. The timeline review is clunky and 16 gigs of onboard storage is complete nonsense. I just think there are much better options available for outdoor cameras, even for indoor cameras. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Until next time, have a good one.